Hey guys, welcome back to Wooby's Toy Box. This is Sean. And I'm Jay. And today we have a very special video for you guys. Labbit by Kid Robot. Uh, these are DC Comic Labbits. And uh, many of you probably know Labbits uh, are usually found in blind boxes in every... Kid Robot blind, bo yeah, blind boxes. Which is uh, similar to Funko, which is our other favorite. Uh, but today, this video, we're going to do um, three. And then we're going to do a part two with the other three. So we're going to start with... Uh, this in one Bane, moving over to Cyborg and then Superman, and then uh, make sure you come back and check out part two when we do Batman, Red Hood, and Green Lantern. So, I think I'm actually going to start with Cyborg. So this is what the packaging looks like. We got these at Toys R Us, and as you can see, they are super expensive. They're 12 bucks a piece. And then each of these have a little saying on the back. So this one is Cyborg and it says, Cyborg Labbit guzzles bandwidth constantly, updates his social feed, you know the type, and will change the channels on your TV just to mess with you. So these Labbits aren't very nice. So what we found out about Labbits is they were created by... Uh, Kit Kozik. Frank Kozik. In 2003. Yeah, I think, well, I think that... Oh, no, they were bought in 2003. I think they were bought by Kid Robot in 2003. He got the name Labbit because I think Japan was making these. No, he did some work in Japan, and when they printed it... He was supposed to say Smokin' Rabbit, and Japan accidentally messed it up and put Smorkin' Labbit. So that is how these became Labbits. So there's the history behind the Labbit. Uh, some of those Labbits, uh, they do have the cigarette in their mouth, and that's not appropriate for this channel. So anyway, I almost hate having to open these. What is this, a little gas can? A little oil mouth. can? Probably goes in his mouth. Oh, it sure does. Alright, so here's our first Labbit. And these are DC Comics. I don't know if we told you guys that, but if you look at the bottom of the package, it actually says DC Comics. So this one is Cyborg. And like Vinylmation, uh, Labbits always have the same exact figure of the rabbit. It's the paint that's always different. So Vinylmation is Mickey Mouse with every type of custom paint job put on the Mickey Mouse. That's cool. Figure. That's very cool. All right. And I guess this just stays in his mouth. It's kind of hard yep. to get in there. Yep. All right. Now I'm going with Bane. I think these characters are like dual personalities. Labbits are supposed to have two personalities. Hmm. On the back of Bane, Bane says, uh, Bane Labbit has rage issues. Juiced up on venom and with an intellect turned to Labbity mayhem, this Batman breaking baddie is as ornery as he wants to be. Hmm. Interesting. He can be whatever he wants. His paint job is really cool. Yeah, no kidding. Looks like he's got, uh, Part of a dumbbell or a barbell in his mouth, so we'll look at him without it first. Man, he is wicked looking, isn't he? These are really cool. I'm glad we found these. There's some scarring on him and hoses coming off of him and all kinds of stuff. The extra piece that comes with it looks like uh, he ate a dumbbell or a barbell, so that's one bad labbit right there. If he can eat a barbell and bend it like that. Last one's old Superman. Looks like he's got uh, kryptonite coming out of his mouth. So that's he's not a, good. Well, he must be a bad labbit if he can uh, <laughs> put kryptonite in his mouth. This one says, Krypton's favorite son, Superman Labbit, squints in the face of danger. The archetype for overachieving aliens, all the other Labbits secretly hate him. Of course, because he's a dual personality Labbit. Let's get him open and see what he's all about. So let's go ahead and take a look at him before we put his kryptonite in. Oh, look his little curl on his head. That's cute. Oh, look at his little bottom. It's fat. <laughs> <laughs> I love that his kryptonite's going to go over here on the side of his mouth. Mm. 
It's supposed to look something like this, with the kryptonite just coming right out of his mouth. But our kryptonite broke, so unfortunately you're not going to get to see it. But still a very cool figure. Alright, so there they are. There's the uh, first three for part one. So stay tuned for the next video, part two. And we'll do uh, Batman, Red Hood, and Green Lantern. That's it. If you guys uh, want to see more videos like this, you can let us know by clicking on the like button. That's it, guys. All righty. We'll see Talk you next time. Talk to you later. Time. Bye. Bye.